In this video, I'm going to show you the best zone meter in Madden 23. Now, if you're watching this video, you might have already noticed that the meta in Madden is shifting from a man coverage focus to a zone coverage focus. So we're going to show you the best zone beater in Madden 23. It comes to us out of the Washington Offensive Playbook. If you're watching this video and you want to get my Washington Offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link is down in the description for just 10 bucks. That's where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive defensive ebooks so like i said zone is certainly becoming meta as well as match coverage is becoming meta and so i wanted to go over my favorite way to attack pretty much every zone in the game out of the washington playbook and the play we're going to be going over is clear out fln now all you need to run this play effectively in my opinion is a slot apprentice a hot round master quarterback something that allows you to put a corner out on the right side it's going to make this play absolutely unstoppable so what we're going to do is we're going to put steve smith on a corner route Everything else you can do with whatever you want. If you have Hot Master, I really like to see route uh, Samuel here, and then we're just going to block the running back. This is a big, big, big play, and we're looking to get big chunk yardage. So we're going to block our running back that way. We just have extra protection. If you don't really care about the blitz, put the running back on an in route. Okay. What you're going to notice here is if we run this with our bunch to the wide side of the field, we are going to absolutely destroy cover four over the top for an absolute laser. Um, if it is, if the ball is on the left hash mark, we want to have our bunch to the right. If the ball is on the right hash mark, then we would simply flip this play and be able to attack the defense this way. So again, cover four drop, one of the best defenses in the entire game. And what you're going to notice is this fade just absolutely destroys uh cover four drop over the top now another read on this play let's say that your opponent runs a cover three defense so again kind of help it a little bit we're going to go ahead and base align it uh just to make it play a little bit better and what you'll notice here is Taysom hill is going to be your primary cover three beater we're just going to free form that to the left and as you can see, he's going to be in position to make a pretty decent catch. Now, if they do have knockout abilities on their safeties, uh, like I do in this example video, um, then I'll show you what you can do. Anyone that's running zone at a high level is probably going to have these knockout abilities on their players. So what you want to do is just basically you want to freeform and highball it to the left side. Um, that's going to make it a little bit more consistent for you. Again, it does depend a little bit on leverage you know as anything does um, i'll talk about the corner route here in just a second but i do want to show you this route to take some hills so you see right here in the seam we're going to free form and high ball it to the left that's going to really move move him over a little bit um, but really just get him the ball like whatever you got to do to get him the ball um you know just get it done because he is going to be the main read if they are in a cover three i'm going to show you something else in just a second against cover three but i do want to just complete this this one this one pass hopefully Taysom Hill will finally catch it okay John Lynch is going to knock the ball out so I guess you can't throw that but what you can do is if we come over here to the left side um or to the right side you're going to notice that this corner route is going to be pretty successful against cover three as you can see we're going to free form passing that down in a way and the other thing that you're going to have is a really sneaky beater over the top if they are in um, a cover three and this could be a couple different variations of cover three but this is kind of what you're going to see here this route to r1 what you'll see is if you wait on this a little longer so if i wait on Taysom hill he's now a lot more open because that safety in that in that corner on the right side are basically going to have to essentially work together um to stop this fade to cooper cup he's going to draw two defenders and then that's where Taysom Hill is really going to shine. So you see right here, if I were to try to throw that ball right there, that's a really risky throw against cover three to the wide side of the field. But the things that become open whenever they're taking that away is really Taysom Hill. And then it's also going to be, which I'll show you right here, this corner route, if you wait on it just a little bit, it will get some separation. So you see right here, right about there, we're going to throw that hard outside pass lead. Again, if they have KO abilities, you know, it is what it is but that, that corner route will be open more times than not. Now, I want to move the ball to the right hash to show you something else about this play that's really, really important. Um, a lot of people like to blitz out of cover two right now. We're seeing a lot of like baseline press, DB fire two style, um, you know, send five style defense. This play is going to destroy um, that. So what you're going to notice here is when we run this with our bunch to the short side, it is going to annihilate cover two over the top you'll see the r1 receiver 
And we're just going to freeform passing him to the outside. And as you can see, he's going to destroy the cover two covers. Now, back to cover three for just a second. If they do run more cover three base coverage, then this play will also cook cover three. You'll see here the corner route is going to be a lot more open than he was previously uh, as you can see. So there is some benefit to running this to the short side, depending on the adjustments that your opponent is actually making. If he's running more cover three and cover two, then this to the short side becomes really good because this, uh, even this route to the uh, tight end, you'll see right here, he has a chance to get over the top in a one-on-one -on -one type of situation if you run this like this. Um, but you also have that corner route over there on the other side. Now, the other thing I want to just briefly spend just a couple minutes on is what if you guess wrong and they are in man coverage? If you guess wrong and they're in man coverage, really you have two things that are really good. You're going to have your corner route to the right side. You'll see right there that corner route's pretty good um, against man to man. And then the other thing that you're going to have is you're going to have your C route. So this forces them to have to basically be in zone uh, to stop these C routes and to stop these corner routes. And then when they go to zone to stop those things, now my fades are going to be open over the top. Clear out in is one of the most universally, uh, I think, recognized as one of the best zone beaters in the game. The last thing I do want to show you is match coverage. This also obliterates match coverage. So if your opponent runs match coverage, what you're going to notice here is that your fade will dumb out match coverage. You'll see the RB receiver. We're just going to basically free form and pass lead him up, and he is going to go make a play for us against match coverage this play is the ultimate bomb concept it's been one of the best bombs in madden for the last three years and it's no different this year one last little piece of advice if your opponent is running match and they are putting a deep half to try to to basically contain your match beaters this right here will kill it because again that deep half is not going to do that great of a job actually actually you actually played that fairly decent let me show you one more time um but this bomb right here is really good against match. It's really good against cover two. And again, if you know what you're doing with this play, you're going to be able to bomb cover two, cover three, cover four, just based on what hash mark you're on. If you want to bomb cover two, you want to be with your bunch to the short side. If you want to bomb cover four drop coverage, uh, you want to be with your bunch to the wide side. It's really that simple. If you want to learn the rest of this offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description below. Ten bucks will get you access to everything, all of our ebooks, all of our updates. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.